Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Perez. I hope you're all happy and healthy and staying active, working hard. Um, today I decided to do a video on how to properly set a table. I thought that would be a, a nice thing to maybe do for your family um, for, the, for the holidays. It's something that doesn't cost anything except a little bit of time and maybe some skill. So um, I thought with Thanksgiving and other holidays coming up, um, that might be a nice thing to uh, learn today, okay? So let's get started. Okay, so here we have a formal dining room setting. Um, you might see this in a fancy restaurant or at a wedding or a special occasion like that. Or maybe in someone's home if they have a dining room and a set of china and it's a special occasion like a holiday, um, like the holidays that are coming up. All right, so you'll see something like this. It looks a little different than maybe what you would see at your um, dinner table. There are extra forks and spoons and plates there that you may not normally use on a daily basis. So let's see... Um, how we go about uh, approaching this, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna take our napkin and we're gonna put it in our lap, okay? That's going to catch any um, food droppings. If it's a special occasion and you see something like this, you're probably really dressed up nicely and you don't wanna get food on your, on your clothes or on yourself, so that's the... Okay, so now we're ready to start with our meal. Um, the rule is that you work from the outside in Okay, so this little spoon here you would use for your um, coffee or teacup um, to um, stir your cream or your sugar or anything you'd be adding to your um, coffee or tea. All right, this large spoon here would be the first thing you would use. This would be with um, your soup, with your soup bowl. So that's a soup spoon. Okay. Next, working from the outside in would be your salad fork. The small fork, small plate, so you would eat your salad. When you're finished um, with your salad, especially if you have some left on your plate, you're gonna wanna turn your fork over, and that indicates to um, the waitress or the wait staff that you're finished um, with that portion of your meal. So they would take that away. And now you have your main course. So you have your knife on the right side and your fork on the left. Um, that seems a little funny, maybe, because um, a lot of us, most of us, including me, are right-handed, so we'd expect that the fork that we we're going to use to eat our meal with would be on the right, but it's actually the knife, and that's because um, you need your dominant hand, your right hand, to um, more carefully uh, use a knife than a fork. So knife is always on the right, and fork is always located on the left. All right? Up here... I have some special little um, extras. This is a butter knife. So this travels with the butter dish, has a, a unique shape to it. So you would not use your personal um, knife and, and dip it into the butter. You would use the um, butter knife and put some on the side of your plate. Sometimes you can use your salad plate to add a little butter to if you still have your salad plate. Okay. You wanna add, if you're setting the table, some condiments, some salt and pepper. Um, and here, this is my favorite spoon. It's the sugar spoon. It has like a little shell end to it. It's kind of pretty. It goes with the little sugar bowl here. So you would um, take the sugar out of the sugar bowl and put it into your coffee cup and then replace the sugar spoon with the sugar bowl. And then you would use your personal spoon to stir the sugar and cream in. Okay. Okay, so that was a formal dining room setting, something that you might um, experience at a fancy restaurant or um, a table set for the holidays, a fancy table set where you'd be dressed up. Um, but let's get to how we can help our family by maybe setting the table for our holiday coming up, okay, at home. So we're going to start with a um, dinner plate. This is just a regular everyday dinner plate um, that we use. We're going to um, next... Put a napkin on the fork side, so you can either use, I, I fold it either into a triangle like this, or sometimes I use a rectangle. Um, today I'm gonna use a, a tri triangle 
shape. And this is just like a, kind of a nicer quality paper napkin. It's Chinette or something instead of everyday napkin because it's a holiday. Okay, next we're going to add our fork. The fork goes on the left. Okay. We're gonna add a knife on the right. Make sure that the, um, the sharp side of the knife, the knife that you cut with is facing in toward the plate. Okay, if um, you're serving steak, you may want to um, put a steak knife down. Okay, that has a sharper edge and it's easier to cut tougher meat. Okay, but we're gonna leave that out for now. Um, next to the knife is gonna be a spoon. Okay, this is a soup spoon. So if you're having soup and a teaspoon, which is what you would use for your tea or your coffee. Okay, if um, you're not having soup, you might just have the the knife and the um, the teaspoon there, okay? And let's not forget our our water glass. Oh, there it is. The water glass right there, okay? And there you would have it—a nice, simple um, place setting for your holiday dinner for your family. Okay, last we'll talk about some ways that we can kind of um, dress up our holiday table. So there's, here's just some um, cake plates that are kind of fall, fall pattern and some little uh, cocktail napkins, small napkins. So they're nice things to kind of add to your table, especially if you have, um, here we have just a paper plate and plastic ware, okay, and a plastic cup. Sometimes this is um, necessary, especially if we have a big group of people. I don't know about this year. Um, but a large crowd, no one wants to get stuck doing the dishes. So this is this is an option for a lot of families um, or for younger people. Okay, I use personally a nice quality paper plate on Christmas Eve. I have Christmas Eve dinner for my family uh, usually because I don't want to do the dishes. And you can always add little cute little things like um, this little cake plate or a fancier napkin um, to to dress up. Uh, that kind of a place setting, okay? Okay, so that's how we set a table. Um, I just wanted to share one more little trick that I learned um, in preparing this little video, and that is you use the word forks. Forks helps you um, remember the order that you set a table in. So the F in forks is for, you got it, a fork. The O in forks represents your plate, where your plate goes. You forget about the R, just ignore it. The K is for a knife. You spell knife K-N-I-F-E. It has a silent K in front of it, like the word knock, okay? Knife. And you got it, the S represents your spoon. So forks. Forks is all you need to remember in order to remember the order in which you um, set a table in. Isn't that funny? Okay, well, speaking of decorating a table, I decided to take a drive down to Produce Junction. Um, I like to get my flowers here. So I'm going to see what they have. Sometimes they have um, arrangements that are already made, and sometimes I like to pick through and pick out my own arrangement and um, uh, do it that way. So I'll show you how I like to make a floral arrangement. Okay, we're back. I'm in the kitchen. I like to make my floral arrangements uh, near a sink and um, at a, a nice cutting space, which you're going to see why in a minute. Um, so you saw all the beautiful flowers at Produce Junction today. I was so lucky. It was hard to um, pick. Um, I did pick a, an arrangement that has already kind of been put together. So I'll be using this, um, their long stem. Um, and I plan on giving them to a friend that's been um, not feeling so well. So I hope to uh, cheer her up with the flowers later on this afternoon. Um, I have a collection of vases that I keep underneath my kitchen sink um, for when I get flowers as a gift. Um, a lot of times they don't come in a vase, so it's handy to have various sizes. So this is kind of a, a large, medium size. 
these are for like one or two flowers, long stem. This is like for like shorter flowers. Um, it's kind of cute. This one is gigantic. This is for a huge floral arrangement, which I did not, I got kind of a medium, medium one. So this would be too big. Um, this may even be a little too big. Uh, but what I did was I purchased this cute little uh, mason jar um, vase, which is kind of festive with the fall. It's an orange color. So I think they're gonna fit nicely in there, okay? Okay, so here's my floral arrangement. Um, the first thing I like to do is get a um, pair of kitchen scissors and take them out of the, the packaging. So you have to be careful. You usually just clip these rubber bands off and the cellophane, real careful. Just kind of cut it off and free them up from the packaging like this. So they're long stem, meaning um, you could put them in a tall vase. Um, we're gonna shorten those stems, okay, in a minute. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is just inspect the flowers, make sure that none of them are broken or broke off, okay? Um, and then we're going to kind of measure where we're going to cut the stems. We're definitely going to cut the stems. Even if you wanted to leave them long stemmed, you still want to um, have a fresh cut at the ends so that they're able to absorb all that water and nutrients that they're going to need to stay fresh um, as long as possible. Okay, so. Um, here's my um, container. So I don't want them stick. I don't want them sticking way out. I want most of the flowers to be showing in the container. So I'm going to cut them. I'm going to cut them probably right about here, like almost in half. Okay. Okay. So here's a view of the container in the mason jar. And like I said, I'm going to cut these stems almost in half. And I cut them together like this. Sometimes I even leave a rubber band on them um, because if it's a nicely done um, arrangement, I want to keep them in places as, as close to how I purchased them as possible, which I did a decent job like that. Okay, so now that I have them cut, um, they're, they're a good size, I think, for, for the um, container. I'm going to pull off all of these um, green leaves around the bottom of the stems. They're just going to get soggy and cloud up, muddy up the water um, after time. So you can pull all those leaves um, away from the stems and that just gives the water um, more of a chance to stay cleaner longer, okay? Right after that, I'm going to put them in my container, see if that's a good uh, height, okay? I think that is. And then I'm going to kind of just loosen them up and, and arrange them around a little bit, okay? So loosen them up if I want to cut them shorter. Now, I like to put um, longer ones or taller ones in the middle and the little, the little guys up front. If I have any um, flowers that really just don't fit or are getting lost, I can always just pull those aside and put those in one of those little tiny vases that I have that holds one or two flowers. So nothing goes to waste. Okay, I kind of like um, how they're sitting in the um, container now. Um, I did cut uh, the stems off a little bit uh, more even, and some of these uh, little flowers were kind of hiding um, down in here, so they were just, you couldn't see them, and they would just get muddy the water again. Um, so that looks pretty good. I put this tall one kind of in the center there, and I bounced out the color with the two um, salmon-colored uh, carnations and the little green buttons and kind of uh, pulled out these yellow flowers that are really beautiful and happy looking. Okay, so um, now what I'll do is I'll actually carefully take it out, put some water in there and put them back in. Okay, so there's the water. Put these back in and kind of open them up a little bit and um, there you have it. That's a nice little centerpiece or a little happy gift for someone. All right, everyone, that's how you set a table. Remember forks, okay? F-O-R, forget the R, K-S. That's the order you set a table in. Um, 
Remember, it doesn't matter if you're eating your holiday dinner in a fancy restaurant on, on uh, fancy china and crystal and you're all dressed up or whether you're eating it off of paper plates at home um, in your play clothes, okay? What matters is, is that you're with people that you love and who love you and you enjoy your time together, okay? So um, have a nice holiday and I'll see you soon. Bye.